Let's look at the new Odroid C1 Plus. We appreciate your patience. First, you will notice that the Odroid C1 Plus has the same form factor as the original Odroid C1, but more features have been added, which we'll explain shortly. At the heart of the Odroid C1 Plus is an Amlogic S805 system on a chip. This chip contains the quad-core ARM Cortex-A5 ARM V7 processors, plus the ARM Mali 450 GPU. The C1 Plus contains 1GB of onboard DDR3 SD RAM clocked at 630 MHz, which delivers 1260 MHz of 32-bit data transfer. Another new feature of the C1 Plus is the standard inclusion of a heatsink to provide for optimal heat dissipation and maximum performance. There you have it, the Odroid C1 Plus from Hardkernel. For data storage options, the C1 Plus offers an eMMC module socket. This option increases speed and responsiveness, similar to how a solid-state drive speeds up a typical computer when compared to a mechanical hard drive. In addition, a microSD card slot is available which supports the UHS-1 standard in addition to the slower Class 10 format. The high-speed UHS-1 cards offer performance about two times higher than Class 10 and is automatically recognized when utilizing a UHS-1-enabled microSD card. The microSD feature has been optimized to support a wide array of microSD cards in this revision of the C1+. The power jack supports 5-volt DC input through the 2.5mm outer diameter and 0.8mm inner diameter barrel connector. The C1 Plus consumes less than 0.5 amps in most cases, but it can approach 2 amps in the event numerous passive USB peripherals are attached directly to the main board while processing heavy computing loads. A new feature of the C1 Plus is that it can also be powered via the micro USB OTG port without making any modifications to the board. Four USB 2.0 host ports allow numerous USB peripherals, including keyboards, mice, Wi-Fi adapters, external storage, and more to be connected to the C1 Plus, and these ports can even be used to charge smartphones and other devices. If more than four ports are needed, a powered external USB hub can be used to reduce the power load on the main device. Another change in the C1 Plus is the transition from the former micro HDMI port to the full-sized HDMI 1.4A Type-A connector. The HDMI CEC protocol support has been enhanced on the C1 Plus. The C1 Plus continues its support of gigabit Ethernet through the standard RJ45 Ethernet port for a hardwired connection to your network. A built-in infrared receiver accepts standard 37.9 kHz optical data via the NEC format. The 40-pin general-purpose input and output pins are designed for GPIO, I2C, SPI, UART, and ADC for electronics and robotics. The connector has a 2.54 mm pitch, and all the GPIO pins support 3.3 volts DC. The ADC inputs are limited to 1.8 volts DC. A new addition to the C1 Plus is the 7-pin I2S port. This is designed for audio applications like the new Odroid Hi-Fi audio board. The connector has a 2.54 mm pitch, and all the I.O. pins are 3.3 volts DC. The serial UART port allows another computer to connect to the Odroid C1 Plus for monitoring the boot process or logging in to perform root maintenance. The UART port supports 3.3 volts DC. We recommend the USB UART module kit available from Hardkernel and their distributors. In addition to allowing power input with a 5 volt 2 amp smartphone style charger, the micro USB OTG port is designed to allow the resources of the Odroid C1 Plus to be accessed from another computer. With the addition of the micro USB to host cable adapter, this port can also be used as a fifth USB 2.0 host port. Connecting an RTC backup battery to this terminal allows logging and timekeeping functions to continue, even when the unit is disconnected from power. The real-time clock circuit is included on the C1 Plus as a standard feature. In the event a power switch is desired, 
one can be connected here. An open connection enables power on while a closed connection turns the unit off. The C1 Plus can boot from a micro SD or EMMC module. This boot media selector allows selecting from which device to boot. The C1 has several indicator LEDs. The red power LED indicates the unit is receiving 5 volts DC. The blue LED indicates that U-Boot is running when solid and the kernel is operational when flashing a heartbeat pattern. The LEDs on the Ethernet port flash green when there is 100 megabit per second connectivity and yellow when there is 1000 megabit per second connectivity. There you have it, the Odroid C1 Plus from Hardkernel.